Hi there, I'm Ella Morton, coming to you from Australia the country and Australia the movie. Technology has been helping geeks hook up since the days of ASL on IRC. Naturally we don't endorse this, but we're just saying it's an option. My fellow Australians. I think we've witnessed the best and the worst in humanity here today. The shape of a rigid dirigible. When nature calls, how do you answer? In fact, it's so swanky that I think I need to change. Right. Would you say you might have a phone addiction? Yeah, because I tend to change them every six months. Look, as far as we know, the dude in the dog suit is still on the run. The downside of living on a giant island at the bottom of the world is that it just takes so long to travel anywhere. Shove through the heart and you're to blame. Spare some change, you give love a bad name. このピカチュウカストはとてもに合わないけれども大変楽しんでいます。<笑> See, while Americans and Europeans have been busy texting on their virtual keyboards and getting I heart Steve Jobs tattooed on their foreheads since mid 2007, Australians are still waiting for a piece of iPhone goodness. 50, a hundred, buy it now. Write a few songs, get your marketing team to promote them, and tour the world having undies thrown at you. While you snort cocaine off a of supermodel's abdominals. There is a place in your head where you go and no one knows what you do when you're there and you think that they don't care. No matter how good you are at multitasking, it's probably not a good idea to get absorbed in scrolling through menus while you're careening down the street. Have you ever Googled yourself? No, I haven't. Why not? Have you Googled yourself? I have. So how am I going to track you down? In its press release, Nokia, in typically overwrought fashion, said that each model has been individually diamond polished, uh, perhaps kissed by the mouths of tiny elves. Because when I look at you, right, I see an amazing fire, which takes me higher, which takes me into a kingdom where there's daffodils and roses. I think in this high kingdom, you might have suffered from a bit of altitude sickness. Find me attractive. In an unconventional way. We're going to go home and have a good lie down because it's been one heck of a night. So there you have it. Australians now have a much smaller chance of dying of boredom before they reach their destination.